Hi learners, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today we'll do the part 10. We'll see the chapter endings. So we'll continue. We have already done some questions. You can have a look at the previous video. So we'll, con we'll start with question number 8. So 8 pumps can empty a tank in 42 hours. So now how many hours will 40 pumps empty the tank? So here what it is like time into pumps we can say that is constant. So now this we can say pump 1 and this, this we can consider as pump 2. So pump 1 into time 1 that will be pump 2 into time 2. So this is going to be 8 into 42 will be 40 into time 2. So here 8 into 42 divided by 40 this will be this will go here means that will go in the denominator that is time 2. So here will be 8 ones are 8 fives are so 42 divided by 5 that will be time 2. So when you divide this one so 42 divided by 5 5 eights are 40 2 by 5 so 8 integers 2 by 5 hours is time 2. So it will take 8 integers 2 by 5 hours to empty the tank. In 15 days, the earth picks up 1.2 into 10 to 8 kilogram, that is of dust from the atmosphere. In how many days it will pick up 6 into 10 to 8 kilogram of dust from the atmosphere? So now what we can do here, dust pick up divided by time, that is constant. So we can say here 1.8 into 10 to 8 divided by, that is time is given here 15 days. So that will be here 6 into 10 to 8 and we don't know the time how many days that will be divided by t. So now when we cross multiply this one, so what will happen here 1.2 into 10 to 8 into t that will be 15 into 6 into 10 to 8. So t is going to be 15 into 6 into 10 to 8 and this will get divided. So now look at here this will be 6 ones are 6 twos are but now this is the decimal is here 1.2 means we have to write here 0 0.2. Again this and this gets cancelled out so this is, will be 1. So 15 divided by 2. So now if you are using the, we have to find out this answer without a, using the KLC. So now what will you do? 15, the numerator as it is. So 0 0.2, we can write this as 2 divided by 10. So what we can do here, we'll go after one number is a decimal. So we can put here 2 divided by 10. So here is a one number. Means for one number, there will be one zero. If there are two numbers, if it is 0 0.02, that is going to be 2 divided by the after two numbers is a decimal means it is going to be here you are going to put 2 0 that is divided by 100. So now we will do here numerator as it is and this will get flip over so that will be 10 by 2. So 2 ones are 2 fives are that will be 75 days. There is enough order for 88 cows in a farm for 10 days. The farm owner takes away a few cows so that the remaining cows have food for 16 days. How many cows were taken away? So let the number of cows we can say taken away be x. So the number of cows that is remaining cows will be so total were 88. So from that 88 minus x. So what we can write here cows 1 into time 1 that will be cows 2 into time 2. So initially there were 88 and the time this one it takes 10 days right. So here we can write here this 10 over here. And the cows too, we have considered this 88 minus x into this is 16 days. So 16 should be here. So now when you multiply this, it will be 880. So now see here, this whenever there is 88 minus x, this is in the brackets and multiply by 16. So you have to multiply this into this one and then this into this one. So 88 into 16 is going to be 1408. This will be minus 16x. So now if we take this one, this both are without a variable. So now if we take this minus 16x on this side, that is going to be 16x. Minus will become plus because it is changing the side. This will be as it is, it is already on the right hand side. This will go here, that will be minus 880. So 16x will be, that will be 528. So x will be 528 divided by, this is multiplication, so it should get divided. So x will be, when you divide this one, you can divide and see that will be 33. So, 33 cows were taken away. Sunny pours 10 to 5 granules of scent per second in a bottle and he fills the bottle in 320 seconds. 
how much time will it take to fill that bottle if we pour 10 raised to 6 granules per second so now your rate of pouring into time that is that is this s we can consider this as the sunny pores right we can put here as s so now your 10 raised to 5 into this is in 320 seconds so here will be or you can also write here this is the rate into this time one is equal to 10 to 6 into because this is 10 to 6 granules per second into time two we don't know how much time it takes so here what will you do you again what will you do this now will keep as it is and this will go on the other side so it will be 10 to 6 will go in the denominator and this time two will be as it is so now will be you will write this 320 as it is but now see here this is 10 to 5 and this is 10 to 6 so what will you do here in the denominator 10 to 6 and if you bring this here in the denominator that will be minus 5 so what you can write here 10 to 1 that is just going to be 10 so hope this part is clear to you so that will be time 2 so this and this gets cancelled out so we can say it will take 32 seconds to fill the bottle if we post 10 to 6 granules per second the weight of three bags of rice is 92 kilogram find the weight of 15 such bags also find how many bags will weigh 322 kilograms so weight of three bags is given as 92 kilogram so weight of first we'll see weight of one bag so what will be there you are going to cross multiply here so this 92 into 1 that is going to be 92 and divided by 3 so now let us keep this fraction as it is because we cannot simplify we can but it will be in decimal so now let us keep as it is first so now weight of one bag is given as 92 by 3 kilogram so now how many bags are here find the weight of 15 such bags so weight of 15 bags will be 15 into 92 point sorry 92 by 3 so this will be 5 here and when you multiply this into this that is going to be 460 kilogram so now we want also find how many bags will weigh 322 kilogram so now your bags for 322 kilogram that is going to be for one bag we got here that is 92 divided by 3 kilogram so now we want for 32 now see here for one bag or you will write a 92 by 3 kilogram that is for one bag so this is in 322 so below this one because this is kilogram below this one we will write a 322 kilogram will be how much so what will you do you are going to cross multiply it so whenever you cross multiply always you have to take these two numbers in the numerator that will be 322 into 1 that will be 322 is written here and this number will go in the denominator hope this part is clear so because many of them have confusion where to write which number so always whatever that is this it should be both the unit should be the same one below the other so now here this is the numerator and this will get flip over that will be 3 by 92 so now you have 246 and 2161 then you are going to multiply this one that will be 483 divided by 46 so when you divide and you can just check with this you will get 10.5 that is bags so we can say weight of bags is 460 that is given here and there was find how many bags are there so 10.5 bags we can say will weigh 322 kilograms a car travels 59.5 kilogram on 3.5 liters of petrol. How many liters of petrol will be required to travel 357 kilometer? For 3.5 liters of petrol, that was this is 59.5 kilogram no, kilometer. Sorry. So for one liter, let us see for one liter first. So now again here, if we cross multiply, so that will be one into 59.5. That will be 59.5, and this is going to get divided. So now see here, whenever you have such type of problem, wherever there is a decimal point, so you can see after this one number is a decimal, again here after one number is a decimal, you can just ignore the decimal if both the numbers is the same, and you can just write 595 divided by 35. Otherwise, I'll show you the other way. When we write 59.5, we write this as, we can also write this as 595 divided by 10. So why is this 10? Because after one number is a decimal. So always I said when the one number is a decimal, that means you have to divide by 10. And for this one, 3.5, we can write as 35 divided by 10. 
So now what happens here, this is the numerator. So 595 divided by 10, and this will get flip over. That will be 10 by 35. So now what happened? This and this gets cancelled. So remaining is 595 divided by 35. Hope this is clear. But this is a long way. But since like many of them might get confused, where does this, did this uh, decimal go? So I have showed you this method as well. So that means now we are going to concentrate on here. That is will be 595 divided by 35. And you can divide and see. We get that as 17. So that is 17 kilometer. So for 17 kilometer, that is one liter of petrol. So we want for how many liters of petrol will be required to travel 357 kilometers. So below this kilometer, you should write this kilometer. Again, here you are going to multiply, cross multiply. That will be 357 into 1 will be 357. And this is going to get divided. So when you divide this one, you get 21 liters. So we can say thus 21 liters of petrol will be required to travel 357 kilometer. Now, how much distance will the car travel on? 2.5 liters of petrol. So, for 1 liter, we got here as 17 kilometer. So, we want for 2.5 liters. So, again, here also, we will write below this liters. We will write here liters. So, it becomes easier. So, 2.5 into 17 and divided by 1. So, you can write here 1 for 1 liter. So divided by one, that means it is going to be the stays the same. So usually we don't have to write this one over here. So now this will be when you multiply this, we get 42.5 kilometers. So we will say the car will travel 42.5 kilometer on 2.5 liters of petrol. If 5 by 9 of a piece of metal weighs 7 kilogram, what will be the weight of 2 by 7 of the metal? So total weight of the metal is let total weight be x. So 5 by 9 of a metal means 5 by 9 we can consider we have considered this x of x is how much that is 7 kilograms. So what we will write here 5 by 9 or multiply by 7 that is uh, multiply by x that is 7. So x will be 7 and this is going to go here means it will get it will be a flip over that will be 9 by 5. So because this is here when it changes the place so this should be 9 by 5. So here will be 63 by 5. So weight of, we can say in here now, 2 by 7 x. Now they said, what will be the weight of 2 by 7 of the metal? So weight of 2 by 7 x. So we, we already got this x as 63 by 5. So 2 by 7 into 63 by 5. So this will be 7 ones are 7 nines are. So that will be 18 by 5. And when you divide this one, you get 3.6 kilogram. So we can say this 2.7. 2 by 7 of the metal weighs, that is 3.6 kilogram. If x is inversely proportional to y and x is equal to 18, when y is equal to 2 by 3, and find y when x is equal to, so this is, we have to break this one. First, we have to look for the first part. So they said x is inversely proportional to y means you usually have to write like this. x is inversely proportional to 1 by y. So y means 1 by y. So now see here, when we remove this inverse sign, so that will be is equal to, so we write some, this is a constant. So that will be, let us take this as k, that will be k by y. So when you multiply this one, x, this will go here, that will be x, y is equal to k. So now it's given in the first part is given x is equal to 18 and when y is equal to 2. So x is equal to 18 and y is equal to 2 by, 2 by 3. Sorry, not 2, but 2 by 3. So here... Again, we'll put in this one that will be x is 18 and this y is 2 by 3. And this we have to find out with this one, we get the value of y. So this will be 3 ones are 3 6 are that will be 12 is equal to k. So we got the value of k. Now let us go to the second part. That is, you have to find y when x is equal to 6 by 7. So you have to find y when x is equal to 6 by 7. Again, we are going to use this one. So x, y is equal to k. So in place of x, we are going to put this one 6 by 7. And we don't know y. But now we know the value of this k. So y will be 12 into this will go on the other side. That will be 7 by 6. So 6 ones are 6 twos are. So y is going to be 12. Now in this one, if a is going to be a varies, that is inversely as b. And if a is minus 5 and b is 1 by 2, you have to find a if b is equal to minus 1. So again, we are going to divide this into two groups first. They said this a is varies inversely as b means again this varies inversely as b means 1 by b so we will remove this sign so that is going to be is equal to let us put the constant over here that will be k by b so now this you are going to multiply this one so this is going to be 
a b is equal to k so now if you are going to put the value as if a is minus 5 and b is 1 by 2 so now what we are going to do here you will put here this will be in place of this a you will put here minus 1 by 5 and in place of this b you will put here 1 by 2 that is k so this will be when you multiply this that is going to be minus 5 by 2 is equal to k now we are going to go to the second part we have to find a if b is equal to minus 1 if b is equal to minus 1 you have to find a again you are going to go you are going to take this equation a b is equal to k we don't know a but we know b is minus 1 and now you know k that is minus 5 by 2 so a will be minus 5 by 2 is already on this side right hand side if you take this on the other side that will be 1 by minus 1 that is nothing but actually it should be minus 1 by 1 both place because y plus divided by minus is always minus or if even if you take minus divided by plus that is also going to be minus in division so you can write this minus anywhere but here now this a is going to be now see here this minus divided and one more thing minus divided by minus is going to be plus so here we have minus in the numerator as well as denominator that is going to be plus so that is going to be 5 into 1 will be 5 and that will be 5 by 2 so when you simplify this that will be 2.5 so a is 2.5 so by this one we are completed today's work do like and subscribe to my channel so you get the notification of other parts thank you